Come on, baby. <laughs> Brand new subdivision, just two blocks south of oh, the street, okay. right here. Beautiful, beautiful homes. Oh, great! I'm interested in something like that. How about parks? Are there any parks in the area? Actually, the one we go to is right in front of that subdivision. Oh, great! Yeah, that's good because I, my dog. It, we have such a small yard. Hi, honey. How are you, Robert? I want you to meet a friend of mine from work. This is Dan. How's it going? Good. Nice to meet you, Robert. You have a very nice home here. Danny's looking to buy a place in this area. Hmm. I better get going. It's getting kind of late. Well, I hope you find something. I'm sure I will. It was nice meeting you, Robert. Yeah, you too. You want me to fix you something? No. What's the matter? Nothing. See no sleep? Yeah. Are you mad? Why? Should I be? Robert, he's just a guy from work. He asked to see the house, I couldn't say no. Why do you automatically assume that I'm mad? Just because I come home from a long day at work and I find my wife in my house talking to another man. No, Cynthia, I'm not mad. Robert, don't be like that. Don't be like what? You know that you would shit your pants if I brought a friend home and it was some hot chick. No, I wouldn't. Oh, come on. I wouldn't. You know why? Because I trust you. That's what married people are supposed to do. Do you trust me? Yeah, I trust you, but I don't trust other men. Well, I'm the only one you have to trust, not other men. Okay, so then it wouldn't bother you if you found out that your friend Danny wanted to bang you? What? I can't believe you. No, answer me. What would you do, Cynthia? Would you still be friends with him? Why are you acting like this? You know, I had a feeling something like this would happen. Oh, you did, huh? Yet you still had him come over. Nice. Robert, it was nothing. Okay, it was innocent. Sorry. Okay, no problem. I think it's time we give her a sibling. What do you think? What? Yeah. I want more. Don't you? Robert, come on. What? Do you think it's about time? Right now? Yeah. I don't know. I thought about it, but... But what? Honestly, I don't think we can afford it. What? Honey, we're doing great. Well, yeah, but it's just the three of us now. If we have another child, our bills will go up. So? That's part of life. Cynthia, I wish you weren't always so worried about money. We have been working so hard for years now to get what we have. And I appreciate that, but we don't always have to be ahead or have the best things. Sometimes I feel like you made this marriage a business. I married you because I love you and I want to enjoy life with you. Don't blame me for wanting to live comfortably or wanting the best for my family. You know, when I was growing up, I saw my parents struggle every week just to put food on the table. 
I told myself I wouldn't live like that, and we don't. So don't make me out to be the bad, stingy one. Listen, don't get excited. As usual, you missed my whole point. I don't even know why I bring this shit up, because you always turn it into something that it's not anyway. Excuse me, darling. I'm going to go play with my only daughter now. This one right here. It's already fixed. What? You're right. How did that happen? Gabriel fixed it. Who? Gabriel from over there. Gabriel, our neighbor? 